Hey guys, this is Karam from Tech Amigo here and today I'm going to show you how to install CM13 unofficial for your Eureka and Eureka Plus devices. So once again, thanks to Rita Sharma and his team for such an awesome work. So before getting installation, the files that you required are the CM13 unofficial zip file and the gapps if required. I will provide the download link for both in the description box below. So before pro proceeding to the installation step, Make sure that your device is rooted, has an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed. So if you want to know how to do the following three things, I will leave the procedure link in the description box below. So just check it out. So after you have done the following three things, just restart your device into the recovery mode. Long press the power button and you will see the restart in that recovery mode and select OK. Now your device will enter into the recovery mode. So once your device gets entered into the recovery mode, the first thing that you have to do is to clear the data of your device so that you get started with a complete whole new setup. So here it is. Now the first thing that we will do is wipe the data. So just select the option and wipe the data. So wiping the data will take some time so I'll just skip this part after the wiping is done. So here it is the wiping of data has been done. Now the next step is to wipe the cache and the LB cache. So just perform the following two tasks and also the wiping of cache may also take some time so just be patient. Let both the procedure gets completed it will take its own time. So after the cache has been wiped out now wipe the LB cache. Now go in advance and there you will see that wipe del big cache. I select that option and swipe right to just complete the procedure. So after the del big cache has been wiped out, go back to your main folder. Now locate the zip file that you have placed in your device. So I have placed it in my external SD card. I will just go to SD card 0 and locate my CM13 non official file. So here it is now. Just wipe to install. This installation will take some time, just be patient, let the installation get completed. So depending on the two files down, we have two CM13 files that is unofficial and a cyber mode. You can install anyone you want. In this video, I am showing you about the unofficial zip file. So once you have done with the installation, just reboot your device. Now the initial reboot will take some time, so just be patient with that. It will do all the optimization of the apps and what the necessary optimization are required. So I'll just skip the part and directly return you to the setup page. So I was telling you about the two versions that is the cyber mode and the unofficial mode. So I will suggest you to go with the cyber mode because it has already installed G, -app, G apps in it. So you won't have to download a separate file for a G app. So my suggestion is to go with the cyber mode, but you can also install the unofficial mode and along that you can download the gapps zip file for your device here is the starting setup i'll just run quick through the setup and bring you to the home page so here is the home page so i will according to my first experience with the cm13 it's quite smooth great work done by hither sharma and his team a thumbs up for this so now you can see at the initial setup the display would be kind of very bright you won't be able to see any words so go to settings in that display and in live display just turn off the per reduce power consumption option. Now you can see all your display has been worked up very well and the device is working very fine according to my first experience. A very excellent CM13 zip file which is available currently. You can see it's the marshmallow version for your device. So I have not currently installed the G apps because I had something issues with my GS. So I will suggest you to go with the cyber mode. One second, I will tell you to go with the cyber mode. It has pre installed G apps. So I will just run through quick tour with the CM13. Here is the camera and how it looks like. It just looks like a simple Google stock camera which comes with the Android one and all. It's pretty simple, not much, but the 
UI or I can say the running of the system is pretty awesome. So I will just show you one of the features that is available with the CM13. So if I go into settings, let me just show you the notification toggle and this is how it looks like. So go to settings in that gesture and you will see there is an option called as embedding display and that hand gesture. So just enable one that and when you turn off your display and wave a hand over the display, the display gets turned on. So this is one of the feature of the CM13. So if you want to know the complete review of this ROM, just comment in the section below. I will just provide you a complete tour of the CM13 review. And according to me, if you ask, it's the best ROM and very smooth ROM available in the market. So if this video helped you, just hit the like button below. And if you want to get the further updates from this channel, just hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching guys. See you until next time.